In this video, I'll be covering how to export data from HawkWIMS. There's a variety of ways to do this, to get the data into Excel or other programs. The simplest way is to just start with a monthly data entry form. I've got one called TSS here on my dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and pull it up. At any time, I can click this uh, green Excel button to export the data that I see on this form into Excel. So in this case, if I want to look at a bunch of data, I'm going to go and click on my calendar control, and I'm going to say I want to look at data year to date. So it pulls that data up, and now I can click the export button. It'll export that data and allow me to open and see that data as I go. So here it is in Excel. I can now take this file and email it to anybody or send it to anybody that I need to. So a very quick and easy way to get data out of WIMS. Obviously I can run this for up to a year's worth of data just like any monthly data entry form. So if I wanted to look at last year's data also, I have a shortcut for that and can click OK. export this if I want to. Now if I just want to export let's say two years worth of data because that's what is being requested of me and I don't want to create two files and I'm familiar with spread report design I can go to design spread reports come up and what I'm going to use is what's called locate multiple variable daily values. So I want to export a bunch of daily values for up to two years. So what I do is I come in here and I can add variables in. In this case, I've already got, let's say, TSS filtering. So I want to send all my TSS data. So I'm going to just go ahead and pick these parameters right here, add them in. Maybe I also want to add in the flow When I'm done, so I've got my form set up, and now it says display up to 31 values. Well, I wanted to do two years. It's about 730 days. I'm going to make it 740 just to be safe. And I'm going to uh, change the order of my heading here. I want to see the location path, then the uh, name, and then units. Go ahead and click OK. It's going to locate that data for me. Now, currently I only have this month pulled up as my date range, so that's why I only see that. So in this case, again, I'm going to click on my calendar control, go to pick dates, and what I want to do is go back to 01 2015, and I'm going to go through today. So I just click on the today, it gives me that. I click OK. And now it's going to go pull all that data. Now I may need to make this report look prettier. I want to wrap text, potentially uh, set the font different. I can do whatever I want. Um, in this case, I just want to export this data. I don't even need to save this report if I don't want to to export the data. Just right here is File Export and I can go right to an XLS file. I'm going to go put it in my documents. I'm going to say it's export uh, two year. And I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And then I want to view this data just to make sure what it looks like. And it looks just like it does in Spread Reports. It has all my data in here. And now I can go and do uh, whatever I want with this, email this file out. So that's, that's another way to export data. And again, if you're familiar with spread report design, fairly easy to use. We do have a utility also called Utility Export to Excel that allows you to do kind of any date range, makes it a little bit simpler if this is your only intention to get data out to um, Excel. So again, pull up the variable browser, add in my variables. I want to see BOD and TSS load. Let's say those are the parameters I'm looking for. Now what I can do is I can set any date range I want. Again, I'll just go year to date, let's say. Click OK. 
and click export. And again, same thing. Data exists, it creates tables, very easy to use. What's nice about the export utility is if I have variables of different frequencies, such as hourly data, I can add it into this form and it'll export all that data. So this is a, a great tool to just dump data, whereas monthly and spread report is more intended to do daily data. Here, if you want to do 15 minute data, hourly data, any kind of data type, it will export all that data into the file. That's it for exporting data from Hawk Wims. Thank you.